Carl, on the crest of a wave with your form at the moment and culminating in the semi-final of the European Championship where you played incredibly well. Give us your thoughts on that. Um, I knew I had to come out fast against Michael. Um, my first leg was an 11, I think it was at the time. Um, I just thought to myself, score like you can and hit your doubles like you can and I got opportunities and I took them. Um, I think I was something like a 2-1 two, two up or something like that on him. And I missed a couple of doubles in the third leg and then he just ran away for a bit. Um, it, it's a funny thing because I went backstage, I've always got my phone on me and um, I got some text messages from home and a couple people from over here and said, look, you, you're playing well enough, just keep doing what you're doing and uh, it'll come through. And it almost did. So all in all, the experience is going to stand you in good stead going forward um, in major events in the future. Well, it's right. Like I've always said that once I get sort of part of my TV game onto TV, it, or my floor game onto TV, sorry, um, things will happen and things are starting to happen. And something that did happen in that semi-final was a magnificent nine-dart finish. <clears throat> how were you feeling at the time? Were you, were you in a confident mood? Were you nervous? How, how were you feeling generally? <clears throat> um, I wasn't nervous. I was... I was I've, I'm confident, but I'm also I'm also shell confident, not overly outward. Um, before in that it was right after the break, and uh, I came back and there's a song that one of my mates plays in the background all the time, and um, it was on at the time. So I I started singing to it, and Mac, my manager, says to me, "You're too calm, you're too laid back, you're too." I said, "Look, the song came on, I enjoyed it, I liked the song, so I, I sang to it whilst I walked onto stage." And um, next thing you know, I hit a nine dart leg. Looking closer at the nine darts, the seventh, eighth, and ninth darts go central into the treble um, 20, the treble 90, and then into double 12. Um, quite remarkable, really. If you look at the first nine dart leg I had on TV at Yali Pali, it's the same situation. Um, middle of the treble 20, middle of the treble 19, and middle of the double 12. It's, um, I don't know what happens. It never never in doubt, was it? it? <laughs> to me, I once the first 61 in, in the uh, the last equation I felt, I felt comfortable with all. Um, it's, it's not something I try to do, it's just you try to get the bed and you aim for the middle, but it's, when it came out like that, myself, I was just I was surprised in the end. Um, when I watched it back, I was like, to me, when I throw it, it didn't seem that central because of the nerves and everything was on it. Um, but no. <clears throat> and you said that your celebration after the, the double 12 went in, huge rush, rush of adrenaline, I would imagine. Oh, I'll tell you what, the next three legs I was finished. I knew because uh, the adrenaline came through, it was, it was rushing too much. Um, I'm just glad it wasn't close to the end. It didn't help me recover after it and get back into it. To MVG. And carrying on Eight. superbly. That's yeah. six out of six. 141 required. Treble 20, he'll start with. And he's got it. Treble 19. There it is, double 12 for a night daughter, and he has done it! Carl Anderson, and...